Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to set up brainstorming tasks while teaching online. Last week I wanted my, my students to focus on these two questions and spend a little bit of time trying to answer them. One of the problems I was um, facing though was that they would add their responses in the chat box of our virtual classroom. As a result, once the first person volunteered an answer, the rest of the students would answer something like I agree, yes, same answer, I had the same idea. What this really means is that they did not spend enough time thinking about these two questions, but once the first student offered an answer, the rest of them just um, ended up agreeing with this student. An easy way to go about this problem is to use Mentimeter. On your browser, type mentimeter.com and then this is the home page. You can sign up. You can use your Google account to sign up. And now you are being redirected to your home page. You can create a new presentation by clicking here on this button that says New Presentation. You can name it saying Brainstorming Task. Create Presentation. And now you can create the type of your slide. Do you want this to be a multiple choice, a work cloud, an open-ended question, image choice, scales, q and A? It's really up to you. I want this to be an open-ended type of slide and I will type my questions here. What are data? So this was my number, question number one. And my second question was why do we use data in academic texts? Once I've typed my questions, then I need to choose the layout of the results. I will leave it to speech bubbles. I'm going to click on share and I want to copy this direct access link here. You can as well use a QR code if your learners are familiar with QR codes, but I think the easiest way to go about it is by using this direct link. Now the link is saved in your clipboard. Simply embed this link in the main slides of your presentation and your presentation will look like this. Now learners simply have to follow this link and what they see on their devices is the two questions you've set, some space for them to provide their answers and the submit, the submit button. What you see, however, is their answers one by one as they submit them. So here I have two answers and as the students are uh, submitting their answers, more and more answers will be compiled here. Once all your students have finished answering your questions, you can click on this button that says Download Results. export PDF, so a screenshot of the answers is being automatically generated and then you can download the results, save them on your computer, brainstorming task answers, and you can share you can share their answers in your virtual classroom. Here, for example, I'm using Zoom. I can choose to share the PDF that I've just downloaded. And now my learners can view the collection of their answers and we can have a proper feedback session. Thank you for watching and good luck.